my name is Gail Levy with Creole Cave and Queen and I want to know what you're cooking. Today I'm going to cook one of my brother's favorite. Uh, he's in California but every time he comes to New Orleans or come to where I am he always say Gail can you cook some etouffee. So what I'm going to do is crawfish and shrimp etouffee for you today. I have everything here laid out for you which is butter, celery, onions, I use crab oil, red and green bell pepper, garlic, green onions, rice, chicken stock, flour, salt, pepper, parsley, a little bit of tomato paste, and basil and thyme, okay? Of course, you guys know I'm gonna use my favorite pot, which is Juanita. I don't know if you remember Juanita <laughs> from the last show I did, or the last video I did, but Juanita is my pot, okay? So here, I'm gonna add a little oil and a little butter, okay, to the pot. Get it nice and hot, okay? I know some people just use just butter, but I do a little bit of both, okay? I want the butter and the oil to melt in the pot and get it really hot, okay, before I throw all my seasonings in, okay? So I'm gonna give it a little stir here and I want the butter to melt and blend together with the oil, okay? See how it's blending in? Cooking down a little bit, okay? Little bit more melted, okay? So now the butter and oil is going, I'm gonna start adding in my seasonings, okay? I'm gonna add my celery, I'm gonna add my onions, my bell peppers, and I love the green and the red because I like the colors. Sometimes the etouffee in a lot of recipes, it calls for just a green bell pepper, but I just love the red bell pepper. I love the sweetness of it, so I use both, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm getting my pot high so it can get going. I always add my garlic last. Thanks, Melissa, because it cooks faster. The garlic burns, so I always try to add garlic last to my seasoning when I'm frying it down, okay? So we're gonna get it piping hot. Get it going. Just leave it alone a little bit, you're gonna Hear it in a minute. Oops, that's hot. <laughs> Don't do that <laughs> until it get a little bit of a sizzle. Okay. So normally, um, a lot of recipes with the crawfish etouffee, uh, they use cayenne pepper. I like to use crab oil because I have all the other seasonings, and the crab oil puts just a little bit more of the kick. I want to show you the shrimp and the crawfish. It's already peeled, seasoned, and ready to go in the pot once it starts to all blend in with the, with the spices, okay? So right now, this is what I want. I want it cooked down until it's really soft. I wish you guys can smell it. It smells really good. And see it's going. I like to even it out a little bit in the butter and the olive oil, okay? Once the seasoning is cooked down really soft, and the fire is going really high and the grease is really hot, I actually add my flour. I make a little bit of a roux. Okay, I like to add my flour in first. Some people add the crawfish tails and the shrimp first, but I like to add my flour to my seasoning, okay, until it gets real pasty. And I let that fry down. So while that's frying down, I'm going to come back in a minute, and then I'll show you guys the ending results of the crawfish and shrimp at Too Thank you for watching. <laughs>